I'm Greg Perkins with Oak Ridge Bellows. There is a lot going on up in that expansion joint in the crossover piping. We're going to take a rare look at that. Let's take a look now. First we need to strip away all that insulation. And we're getting down to bare metal. Let's take that cover off. You've got bellows up underneath there. And bellows of course are flexible and so every time you go through a thermal cycle uh, it's going to compress the bellows back and forth. And you may notice there's a balance in on there and that is really important on this expansion joint. What it's doing is taking all the loads, the pressure thrust loads off of that. We'll better understand it if we take it away. Let's beam that away to the Starship Enterprise. It's going to a cargo hold. We're going to get it back again. And now if we just had just heat on it with no pressure, of course, it would compress the bellows like we would want. But, of course, we've got pressure with that, and this is what would happen. We would have that bellows extend, and then it would just overload everything that there is. So we're going to bring back that balance in and see how that now helps us pop a hole in that elbow. Now when we pressurize it, and it's going to want to grow on us because we took the cover away, let's, let's put that cover back on and see what that does for us. Put the cover back on, and now when we pressurize it, those, those forces are balanced. Um, each bellows is wanting to extend. The cover is not letting it do it. But now that T-section is free to move back and forth. That's how a pressure balance works. Now, now let's look and see how long these things will last. You, you, you've seen that we have thermal cycles going back and forth. Also got a lot of vibration going on there. And that will eventually wear out the bellows. If you ever have a leak on these, this is where it's going to happen. It's going to happen somewhere where you can't get to it and weld repair it. This is where you'll see. You'll start to see steam come out in the T-section uh, right there. And that's an indication you've got a, a crack. And don't think it's anywhere else other than the bellows. That's where it's going to be. And that crack is only going to progress and get larger. So it's only going to present a problem. Uh, and... and that's when you're in trouble and you're going to have to go into a shutdown uh, if it gets excessive. You want to be able to replace that part long before that happens. So whether this is a GE unit or Westinghouse unit, all of those turbine manufacturers will agree that after 25 years, you're, you're living on borrowed time. You need to get in there and proactively replace that before you see a leak. So if you haven't rebuilt the crossover expansion joints, as a minimum, you need to get some cartridges on order. And those GE duplicates, they take, uh, it's hard to expedite those in anything under eight weeks, which is why we want people to get those things already on order and have them on standby. That way, when you need to have a rebuild done, you ship it to us, we can have those done in under two weeks. You can always find us, oakridgebellows.com.